Whoa! I have no idea what this is, but it's awesome. And if that doesn't sum up everything in this game, I don't know what does, honestly. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Canarium. Guess what? Uh, I don't have my controller with me, so we're going. Uh, we're going keyboard keyboard mode. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. First of all, look sensitivity. That is whoa. This is that's egregious. All right, let's turn that down. That's step one. Let's turn that down. Let's give it to a cool thirty-two. That's that's fine. That's much more manageable. It's still a little fast, but I'll try not to zip around too much. Okay, so, like I was just doing. You know, um, of course we all remember where we're at in the game and what's happening. How do you bring up the journal with the J? Okay, what what, what was going on? All right, so we had the phonograph, right? right we listened to that. Um, how do you turn the page? What, this? Okay. Uh, better find a crew member, yes, okay, and then first, Canarium event at a brief visit to the past. I've had a complete loss for words. Simple remarks are insufficient to express my feelings right now. Was it a premonition or a vision? How should I interpret all of this? I don't know exactly. Neither do I. Suddenly, I found myself drifting into a familiar room, a room that was long buried in my graveyard of memories, scribed on epitaphs of things long past. That's very flowery. But what does it mean? I just don't know. Um, we can turn the flashlight on and off with the F button, even though it's called a torch. You'd think that since flashlight begins with an F, they would seem to know that it's a flashlight because it starts with an F. Uh, so what are we doing? Why are we up here? Why is the music kind of intense? It, it, a little, not, not too intense, but just, just a bit intense. We went this way at one point. There was a shadowy figure. This was to upstairs or something. Didn't we have... Uh, oh, hello. I don't know if you can hear me, but... I am trying to... search it. This is the only way. Hello, yes? Who are you? Ah! Okay. Hey! Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, please. I want to know. Hit me, hit me up. Lay, lay it back on me. Lay it on me, ba back. Hit me with, give it, give me, give it to me. Uh, I have another handle though, that's, 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 I use that for this, right? Yeah, there we go, hey, see this? Oh, oh, oh. Look at this, we can go up or down. Link elevator has been set up, it can reach both the tower and the bottom levels now, down below the base. Camp equipment's are ants. Art, 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 aunt. The parts for portable submarines were started to be transferred to the first campsite. Where's the campsite? Is that upstairs or downstairs? Ca cavern entrance? Okay, well, this is <laughs> phasing through the wall there. That's fine. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. I don't know. Yes, hello? I gotta turn that sensitivity down some more. Oh, that's why, because it didn't. I didn't save it. I didn't apply the changes. I just canceled. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. That's what I wanted to do. Is like, tw nah, but I was like, okay. Hey, that's much more manageable. Okay, so now what, what I'm saying is, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to go up or down. Let's go up first. I know things about things. So, oh, here we go. Hey, bellhop! Look at me getting an achievement. I'm great at video games and everything else. It's undeniable. Okay, we seem to be, we seem to be actually, oh, 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 okay, all right, this is cool, do I have my torch, yes I do, so this is the tower, huh, I, you know, I expected the tower to be, um, I don't know, like, more normal, <laughs> like actually structurally built, I did not expect it to be this, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but, Wow, it's weird. Hey, got some stuff though. Hey! Oh, I thought those were keys. Wait, why is it getting weird? Why is it getting weird? This game has never gotten weird before. I found an ornamental metallic object. Can I take this? I guess I already have a torch. Flashlight. Uh, so what's this then, huh? Huh? No. No, okay, yeah, sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to. 
I'm just gonna back on out of here. I'm just gonna, just gonna, go, I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna leave now, if I can. Am I, is there a seal? Is there like a, a, a invisible force field keeping me from leaving? Cause I cannot get out. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute. What's, what's this? There's a little green stone on the wall. It could be worth something. Can't seem to do anything with it. Just shine a flashlight on it. No, can't do it. All right, fine. We'll approach the weird figure that's all freaky. Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. Uh huh. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. Oh. They all seem like focusing a light beam oh. towards a colossal structure in the center. Oh. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't help you, buddy. Uh, who are you, by the way? Oh, oh, he's gone. All right, cool. Wow, I didn't even see the stuff up here. Journal has been updated. Let's check that out. Whoa, four of six now. Four of six now. How do you change the, uh, there we go. First contact, due to intense interference, unfortunately, I couldn't understand the content of the relayed message. Again, you and me both. I'd better be on the lookout for any possible incoming transmissions. Also, I can't be certain, but there is a good chance of finding someone on the lower sections of the base. Frank, I don't know if you can hear me, but you must. I am trying to keep searching. Right, that was the, uh... Oh, that must be what this was, uh, in reference to. This was in reference to the thing. The walkie-talkie thing. I thought it was in reference to the thing that just happened. Dr. Faust's remarks... Oh, that was Dr. Faust! About the bass reliefs... In the tower-like structure. Okay, cool. Well then, we've learned a lot here today. We've really, uh, <laughs> we, we, we've really started to piece it together, I think. This is very, this is very Skyrim looking. Like, even that guy. It was also very alien, um, what was the, what was the new, new one, but not the new, new one. New one. But the, not the new, new one. You know what I mean. Uh, what's this too? I, I want to know. Is this like a, a spectrograph or something? Whoa! I have no idea what this is, but it's awesome. And if that doesn't sum up everything in this game, I don't know what does. Honestly. So, j what does it do? Whoa! Hey. So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. Oh, that's bright light. Oh, wait, I see something out there, too. He! I'm standing in it. I'm blind now. Okay, so there's a light coming from that direction. You can see it. And it's shining into this thing, which is shining up and also maybe down. And I don't know what. <laughs> and I don't know what this thing is, either. This could just be ambient light. Just like this. Seems a little redundant, but what do I know? I'm no Elder God. Okay, do I do something, or do I, uh... Am I done here? Are we good? What happens if you look in there? Ooh, can I use something? Ooh, wait, my, uh, 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 what do you call it? What do you call it? This thing. Yeah, use it. How do you use it? See? All right, here we go. Using it. Cool. Very robust. All right, what else? I have a uh, walkie-talkie. I have this... It could be a key, a handle, or a lever of some sort. That's, uh... It's not very... Not very super useful, right now, anyway. Alright, well, let's go back downstairs, then. See if I care. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Can we keep going up? Can we keep going up? No. Aw, oh, man, I thought we could keep going up. Okay, fine. All right, sorry about that, everybody. It seems my camera froze a second ago, but it's fine. I fixed it, 
Everything's cool. I believe I'm now in the main level, the base area there. Uh, which I don't want to be. So, I want to go down some more. This is the cavern entrance. I believe this is probably... Hey, I don't think it turned me last time. That's a little unsettling. Can't use my flashlight. My to so Sorry, my torch. Ooh! What's that? Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. Awesome! <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Whoa, yep. We are down... We are, we are cavern entrance AF right now. This is... This is the most cavern entrance I've ever seen. Hey! I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Whoa, I got an axe! Uh, thing. An axe? Wait, hold on. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. And then whatever this is. It looks like a harpoon. Maybe this will explain. I found a note about dangerous plants. <laughs> there is some strange vegetation filling most of the hall. That was probably just falling rocks, it's fine. Um, there is some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways, as amazing as it is deadly. There's a hidden world right beneath the base, and even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with the highly poisonous gas seemingly coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near or any of the plants that came across in any of those caverns. Uh, I also noticed a strange phenomenon. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. After I spent some time examining a sample from the plant, it occurred to me that the individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. <laughs> I know what that's like. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air currents. And by this movement and this movement, sorry, <laughs> sorry, seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have a notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. That's weird. What does that mean? The plant? I don't like that. I don't like sentient plants. As a rule, freaks hey, me out. Anyone here? I scared myself. <laughs> it's fine. Whoa. Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? Oh, sorry, sorry. Nope. I thought I, uh, I thought that was jump button. It's uh, it is Where not. Where are they, for God's sake? Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. Is that more? Is that a rock or is that like a thing? It looks like a thing. It looks absolutely much like a thing. I don't know about all this you got. Oh, hey, look, more blue light. Oh, okay, so yeah, this uh, this uh, is shining from the top. Whoa. Okay, that's um, <laughs> pretty anticlimactic. I expected something more there, but hey, you know what? Why don't we deal with all this situation in the next one, guys? Thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for more exciting Canarium adventures. I've been Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there, everybody.